If you haven't noticed already on Walnut Street, famous faces are inscribed in the Blues Walk of Fame. Such artists as Brendan Mitchell, Brad Jordan, and B.B. King grace their presence. Greenville will begin its newest renovation project and is marketing itself for visitors all across the region. Uh, there's a market, and I think for Greenville that will be a plus. If we can develop the area and market it correctly, uh, we could see the potential of tourists wanting to visit the area. Mississippi is the birthplace of the blues, and Nelson Street was and still is considered the founding father of several well-known stage acts. The flowing fountain, which will undergo a transformation this year, will offer something unique to the area. We're trying to really offer Greenville a, just a tiny bit of its history so that, so that the citizens of Greenville can really enjoy the atmosphere. Blues has a distinctive sound. It goes hand in hand with how you are feeling. In order for you to feel the right vibe, you need to recreate it. The flowing fountain will once again have the old time feel to serving great food and even better music. Here is what the blues are really all about. They say uh, the blues is nothing but a man, a good man, or a woman doing bad. So once the flowing fountain opens later this year, it will have the same feel it did so many years ago, and Nelson Street will forever be transformed. Reporting in Greenville, Steve Dreyer, WXVT Delta News.